But yeah, welcome to Carrot Tutorials. Um, this is the first episode of Carrot Tutorials, and on Carrot Tutorials today, I'll be showing you how to do the Twixter. Now, what Twixter is, it's a slow mo plugin that I'll be showing an example of right now. Oops. Didn't need to see that, but <laughs> yeah. This is it right there. That's the Twixter, the slow mo. Yeah, I'll be showing you how to do it. So what you want to do is make a new composition. Drag your clip on there to the timeline. Now this is the really important part. Make sure it's the same frame rate as the clip. What I mean by that is 59.94 right here. Um, composition settings, 59.94 as seen right here. So once you got that done, drag to Twixter. Make this 59.94. Uh, you want to enable these two. Go to layer, frame branding, pixel motion. And uh, now you want to just go to where you want the Twixter to happen at. And now I'm going to go over here. That up, so. so what you want to do is you want to go two steps back. You want to go to where he's about to shoot. So I'm going to put it right here. Enable this the stopwatch. Maybe go two, four frames, two, three, four, whatever you want to choose. I'm just rushing through it right now. Then you just want to put in one. Okay, let it render out. Now that's the slow mo effect right there. Oops, meant to turn off that. Locking the frames. Yeah, that's the slow mo right there. Now to undo it, you want to press U. Well, I press U. You want to go over some a little bit more. You want to click this. And then you want to just put 100 in. So now it should uh, fade out. And then zoom back to the, the regular speed that it was on. I may have to move this back some. Yeah. Yeah, there you have it. You also want to, if you want to make it even more smoother, go to keyframe system by pressing the right mouse button. And then go down to Easy Ease. Or you can press F9. This makes it even more smoother than what it is. I might render it out. Yeah, I'm going to render it out. Go right there. Yeah, and there you have it, Twixter. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned how to do Twixter effects. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll have more better tutorials as this was my first tutorial. So yeah, I'm out. Peace.